everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are making a broccoli and cheese soup, which I love. But whenever I'm doing a recipe, I have a little like cheat sheet. It's basically not the whole step by step of the soup. I just write the ingredients, the amount, and then what to do with it. So the recipe asks for a half cup of butter. I am not using butter, I'm using olive oil, but you can use vegetable oil, butter. It's basically to saute your onions and garlic. And then one onion, garlic, it says 16 ounces of broccoli, which is basically a little bit more than a bag. I have it on the back there. Four cans of vegetable broth, four cans. I think that's a lot. Usually when I don't have broth, um, I just use water. It doesn't affect the taste, I find, because I put so much veggies in it. If they ask for one onion, I put two onions. If they ask two cloves of garlic, I use the whole thing of garlic. So I already add so much flavor to the soup. Broth or water, it doesn't really make a difference. And then one pound of cheese. I find that with the cheese on the broccoli soup, it goes from person to person. So just add a little bit of cheese. And if you want more cheese or the person you're serving wants more cheese, they can always add more. And two cups of milk, same thing with the milk. It depends how creamy you want your soup. I might just add one cup. Um, I usually do a splash of milk and then see how it goes and then I'll add more. Then one cup of water to dilute um, two thirds of cornstarch. The first time I did broccoli soup, I love Cheez-Its. I love the white cheddar flavor. I can eat a whole box of those. So when I was making the soup and they say, oh, you can add bread or you can add more cheese. I was like, poof, why not add Cheez-Its to it? So that's what I did. I just crumbled up a bunch of Cheez-Its and I put on the soup. Best idea ever. So let me show you the ingredients and then we'll get to cooking. You can do cheddar, even if you like white cheese too, but I have Kobe, so I'm gonna use Kobe. We got our milk and then our broccoli right here. Remember, use the stems. No waste here. We're not wasting anything because the stems will soften it up and since we're thrown in a blender, it will blend everything together. And then I'm adding a little pepper for a little flavor tons of garlic of course this piece of broccoli i had a leftover and that's why the stems are here so i'm using this but then i have my packaged broccoli it is 12 ounces and then i already chopped up all my onions uh, so you don't see me cry and it was just it was just one big um red onion i I usually use a white onion, but um, I have tons of red onions, so I am using them. That's really basically all the ingredients that you need. I've learned a trick a while ago. I saw something on the internet that if you put a wooden spoon on your mouth, like while you're cutting the onions, somehow the wood observes the, the onion heat and then you don't cry and it's been working great for me so if you have trouble cutting onions try the spoon in your mouth i already put my oil in the pot i added the onions the peppers and the garlic to the oil that was hitting up and i know it looks like it was a lot of onions but trust me because i'm gonna use water instead of chicken broth or vegetable broth the more vegetable that you put on, like the onions and the garlic and the peppers, the more flavor it's gonna give to your soup. All right, so we're sauteing and we're gonna leave it here for a little bit. And um, I just open up the package and the pieces of broccoli are pretty big. So I'm gonna use this time that I have to chop them up. And I will also go and chop up my cheese. A lot of people, they shredded their cheese. I'm gonna cube it because I hate using the shredder. I think a long time ago I used a shredder and then it cut my my knuckles and my fingers that I went like too hard and it was a really sharp shredder. So now I try to avoid the shredder if I can. The onions are pretty saute right now. They're pretty soft. So I'm gonna add the broccoli that I chopped up. I basically use like half of the bag. Use my broccoli. Basically just mixing up the broccoli with the onions, peppers, and garlic. And then now I'm gonna add the water. And 
then I'm gonna let this simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. I have to put this mix into this little cup and then put it in the bullet. Also, kids, make sure if you put in this in this, make sure this is cooled off for a bit. Okay, don't put this while it's hot in this container. going to transfer this mix into a container because we're gonna have to put it all back in the pan to add the milk and the cheese so I put it in a container and then dump it back in the pot so I put the mix that was in the bullet back in the pot don't be fooled by the color I already had a taste of it and it tastes so good I'm only gonna do a little splash because like I said I don't want it that creamy so now I'm gonna add the rest of the broccoli like i said that it's gonna cook a little bit more just to give enough texture and then i'll add the cheese and then another thing that you can add to your soup of course at the end you can add some croutons right now i have um some ciabatta i said just cut it up into cubes put on your baking sheet drizzle with some olive oil maybe some sea salt let it baked and then when it's crunchy add it to your soup now I'm gonna add the cheese. I already cube it up here. Sorry, <laughs> I snacked in some sriracha in there. Let me show you the soup. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped my phone on the soup. Let's switch this. I know it looks like diarrhea color. Yes, it was because of the red onions. I knew it. I knew it. It's so good. Mm. Yeah, texture, flavor. It's it's really good. If you're liking this cooking segments, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell, the notification button, so you don't miss any single videos. And I'll see you next time.